what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of crash and startup or crashing and startup issue currently having with rainbow six siege so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me, guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit, and I'm gonna really, really be thankful for that, and I'm gonna thank you for that. So, anyways, I would just say, let's get right started. So, the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen. We're gonna right click your task button, open up your task manager. Once you clicked on that, I want you to navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes. Once you click processes, I want you to click one of those random processes, doesn't really matter which one. Type in R on your keyboard in order to find Rainbow Six Siege. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and hit end task. Once you're finished with that, I want you to simply anti task manager again. Afterwards, you're going to search for your launcher shortcut for Meet Steam or your Rainbow Six Siege shortcut onto your desktop. And if you don't have it there, simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen, click under the Windows symbol, and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, simply drag it right back onto your desktop. Click to quickly come back, take the shortcut, right click it, and hit run it as an administrator. This will probably uh, make your launcher pop up and I want you to launch your game already launcher or instantly your game So if it crashes again return back to your shortcut right click it hit properties on the very button You're gonna click into compatibility and simply copy my settings So let's quickly run through it enable run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 Disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator hit apply and ok I would personally recommend to reset your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right onto your shortcut I want you to simply launch a game over the launcher or launch a game instantly and this will probably fix your issue. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope that I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really, really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get... So I would just say have a wonderful day. See you the next one and bye.